Hi, this is your OMEA president, Isaac Moore, speaking to you from my home in Exeter, Ontario. It is the 22nd of May today, and I say that because it matters. If you're anything like me, you've now been engaged with a period of emergency distance learning, thanks to the global pandemic of COVID-19. First, I want to acknowledge something obvious, but it still bears mentioning. Teaching music this way is fundamentally different than it has been for the last 14 years of my career. These are exceptional times, and we are doing exceptional work to make it happen. If you're like me, I often get encouragement when I interact with my students and my colleagues every day in a school. I know that I'm making a difference by the looks on my students' faces when we engage in learning together, when I pass them in the hallways, when we have a concert, and when we interact in class. I know that parents appreciate my efforts when I see them at concerts, and they tell me how much music has made a difference in the lives of their children. Right now, if you're hearing this and you're anything like me, you may need to hear this. You are doing good work. You are valued and you are making a difference in the lives of students. Thank you for everything you are doing to bring music and art into the lives of young people during these uncertain times. It may not be as easy to see, but your work right now is critical and it's valued and it's meaningful. Thank you. Although the future is hard to predict right now, the OMEA firmly believes in a strong and unified effort. Using the expertise and the input of various stakeholders as we look ahead and prepare for the upcoming school year. I wanted to take this time to tell you about some of the things that the OMEA is doing to help our members as we respond to the challenging landscape of education in Ontario. So far, we have organized We've struck a committee of OMEA board members who will lead our response. They meet regularly. We've written letters to offer support. Uh, the Ontario Ministry of Education has received a letter. The Ontario Ministry of Health has received a letter. And we've also sent letters to various regional public health officials. We've been actively consulting and collaborating. We've reached out to the Arts Education Coordinators of Ontario the OTF Curriculum Forum, the Canadian Music Educators Association, the Ontario Music Educators Association corporate members and affiliate organizations, the Canadian Music Industry Education Committee, the Coalition for Music Education in Canada, our colleagues in the other two provincial subject associations for the arts, CODE, the Council for Ontario Drama and Dance Educators, and OAEA, the Ontario Art Education Association. And finally, we are learning. We've attended webinars hosted by NAFME and Music for All, and we've collected and discussed an immense amount of current research, articles, information, and materials related to music education and COVID-19. The OMEA board continues to monitor and adapt to the changing educational landscape in Ontario and beyond. We welcome your input at any time as we move forward and we invite you to reach out. You can get to the board through me, president at omea.on.ca. We will continue to be here for our members and for the students of Ontario. Once again, thank you for the work you have done and will continue to do to bring music and art into the lives of Ontario students.